Hello, welcome back. So today we're looking at controlling the DJI Neo with a mobile phone using the controllers on the phone screen and via Wi-Fi. So let's get the drone connected to the phone or vice versa and crack on. So for the purpose of this, I've done a screen record or made a screen record from a mobile phone. We're connected to the drone. I'll select manual control. We'll go to full screen. And once we select take off, you will notice that the controls pop up on the left and right. So similar to your joysticks on your controller, uh, same kind of layout. They are not the most intuitive, however the drone does move relatively slowly so they're fairly easy to get the hang of. We'll begin with doing a horizontal distance test. Unfortunately there's no indicators on the screen of distance or altitude. So you've uh, just got to keep an eye on the drone. Once we reach the maximum distance, which will pop up on the screen, I'll land the drone and pace out the distance between the controller, i.e. my phone. Hang on. Max flight distance reached. There she is. Uh, we'll bring it into land now, but uh, yeah, I'll pace out the distance between the controller and where the drone lands, and hopefully we'll get a rough idea of distance. I am six foot four. So if I stride purposefully, each stride should be about one meter. So it'll be relatively accurate. However, definitely not scientific. Landing. So in a second, we'll switch cameras. It's quite squidgy, so you can hear my footsteps and I will pace out the distance. So here we go. One, two, three, four, and there's the drone, 50 meters roughly as advertised. So we'll crack on now with the vertical test. Hang on. Take off. Once again, don't want to interrupt her. You'll notice here that when the drone takes off, it veers to the right. That's the drone doing that. That's not a gust of wind. The drone just decides to do its own thing there. However, I manoeuvre it back to be directly above my position with the phone and then go straight up to the vertical limit. I will fast forward this so you don't need to endure the whole clip. Max altitude reached. So, as we reach the maximum altitude, there's no way of knowing what that altitude is. Unless I was to put the Mini 4 Pro up at the same height and get an indication that way. However, I do pan round here so you can get a kind of feeling for what height it's at or what altitude it's at. And as I come round, you can see it does judder a little bit. So there's a little bit of interference. However, if you look in the top right, the Wi-Fi signal is quite strong so that's annoying but anyway um as i come around here i'll tilt the gimbal down and you'll get a look to see my position and that will give you probably a better indication of the the height that the drones are so i won't bore you with watching the drone descend because it takes an absolute age and we'll just crack on with the next part of the test now for this test, I'm going to take the drone up to the maximum altitude, keep it at that altitude, and then fly it horizontally to the maximum distance. I'll then bring the drone down to land and pace out the distance between where I am with the phone and where the drone has landed. I'll fast forward this again so you don't need to watch it in real time because it is pretty slow. So as you see me pacing out the distance here, inexplicably, the drone decides it will just do its own thing. It veers off to the right suddenly and launches itself straight into the ground. I did continue pacing out the distance and it ended up being 44 meters, so roughly, uh, sorry, 44 paces, so roughly 44 meters from where I was with the phone and where the drone was going to land. 
and that's obviously maximum altitude and then maximum horizontal distance. Now I'm going to preempt a question, what was the maximum distance or what was the distance the drone was from the phone when it was at the maximum altitude and the maximum horizontal distance. So let's just ask chat GPT and that will pop up with an answer which uses Pythagorean theorem and that gives us the value of 70 meters distance that the drone was from the phone at its maximum. So in conclusion, it appears it's the software that prevents you flying the drone any further than the 50 meter mark. You can see in the top right of the corner during the test that the Wi-Fi signal remains quite strong. And it's probably for good reason that the software stops you at the 50 meter mark because I've done this test a second time when I flew maximum vertical and then maximum horizontal and I had no end of issues with connectivity problems. However, there will be a separate video on that coming soon. So if you want to see that, then please subscribe and hit the notification bell. Once again, thank you very much for watching and I will hopefully see you on the next one.